I'm kind of doing more of a casserole style inside of the crock pot. I've never done this before. Well, wait, I have done something. I have done like a chicken stuffing mashed potatoes type of deal all at once in the crock pot, but we're not doing anything like that today. What I'm going to be doing is an enchilada bake. I'm doing a kitchen sink, which is basically throw everything in. And then I'm also doing an Alfredo lasagna. I'm gonna, of course, not follow any of the recipes to the tea, but let's get started. If you're new here, my name is Carrie. This is Keep It Simple DIY. I'm always trying new things in the kitchen and I really just like making stuff up as I go. So for this, I'm going to kind of wing it. I have out some mozzarella. Now just a reminder, we're doing the lasagna first, the Alfredo lasagna. I'm doing mozzarella. I have oven ready lasagna or crock pot ready lasagna. And I have some spinach. I've got some chicken. You'll definitely need cooked chicken. I mean, I guess you could do uncooked as well, but I actually have canned chicken. You could do this with just like a rotisserie chicken that you've shredded. I'm trying to figure out what I want to do with the juice that's in here, like the broth. I'm debating on if it's going to be too much if I put it in there, but we'll play it by ear. I have some just jarred Alfredo sauce. You can make your own. You could buy it. And then I have Italian seasoning, garlic powder, and salt. I'm going to do this just like I would a regular lasagna. Now the recipe did call for doing a layer of ricotta with eggs and I don't have ricotta and I didn't want to buy it specifically for this because I like to cook with what I have on hand. So there's our first layer of a sauce and you know I think I'm actually going to add some of that broth down there just because I'm going to be putting the noodles right there. I like to make crock pot meals in these little tiny crock pots and then make three of them at a time because we're just a family of two and I prefer to do little bits because each of these little ones will be about, no that's not going to fit. Each of these little crock pots is about three servings, so this would be, we can each have it once and then someone can have it twice. And so we don't really want to be eating things over and over and over and over again, so this works out really well for us. So I'm going to do a layer of noodles, a layer of chicken, and yes, I'm just using my hands, it's fine. Problem is I have to wash my hands after every chicken layer. I am going to follow that up with a little bit of the seasoning. And this spinach is frozen and that is completely fine. And then a layer of mozzarella. Add some spinach on me. That was a bit much. Okay, another layer of the sauce. So I mentioned the small size here, but I am cutting the recipe in half as well. So this one is ready. I am going to put it in the crock pot behind me and we will see it again in a few hours. Next up is the enchilada casserole, and this calls for quite a few things that I don't have. Well, some that I do, it calls for those Rotel with green chilies. I have that, but it only won half a can. I didn't know what to do with the rest of it. It also called for about 10 ounces of enchilada sauce. So I have tomato sauce. I didn't put any spices in this when I canned it, and I did that purposefully so I could turn it into enchilada sauce or like an Italian marinara if I wanted to. So I'm going to make my own kind of mix of these two. So what I've got here is I have some hot peppers that are from the garden and I'm going to add in all the rest of the broth from the chicken. Now this is the chicken that we used for the Alfredo and had I been thinking I would have only used half of it so I could use half of it here. That was my plan, but you know, plans don't always go the way you think they're going to. And then I'm just gonna open another one. We'll have a little bit extra. Maybe I'll put it in the next recipe because it's like kitchen sink. Um, and then tomato sauce as well. I'm going to add the whole jar because since I'm not doing the Rotel, I figure we'll be fine adding the whole jar in there. Just the stuff in the jar, not the actual jar, of course, right? So now I need to season this. So I am going to season it, of course, starting with salt and pepper. And if you've never made your enchil and if you've never made an enchilada sauce, 
just go look online for a recipe. I'm just winging it, but there's tons of recipes online. I'm not the biggest fan of a red enchilada sauce, especially the store-bought kind, so we'll see how this goes. I don't think I've made it on my own in a very long time, so hopefully I can get this going well. And I added the peppers in there because that's like the Rotel. I just wanted to mimic the Rotel there. Okay, that was some cumin. Did I tell you everything? I did garlic powder, cumin, and this is oregano, which I have a ton of oregano hanging up to dry, and then some chili powder. And this recipe also called for some taco seasoning, and I just don't know if I want to pull out a whole thing of taco seasoning when I basically just put taco seasoning in here. I'm gonna give this a mix and then I'll taste it. Oh, my goodness. I put the smallest amount of peppers and that is so dang spicy. Holy moly. Okay. I'm like, I didn't even get a piece of pepper, did I? Let's see. There's definitely no peppers in that spot. Holy moly. That is spicy. We are just going to have something spicy. I mean, everything else I will make sure to not put too much seasoning in. <laughs> okay, add a little bit of salt. I think it needs it. Probably needs a little bit more garlic. I decided to do it. Taco seasoning. What's in taco seasoning? Oh gosh, I know you can make this on your own. Spices, including all the spices we just used. I am going to start out with a little bit of this sauce. I'm going to do this just like the lasagna, I guess. So I have some tortillas. We've been eating tacos all week, so we have a ton of these tortillas. I think I'm going to go two in the bottom. And I am not going to specifically season the chicken since we have all the seasonings in that sauce that'll go right over it. More sauce. I think I'm going to end the top just with some sauce and then cheese. We'll just do the rest of the sauce. Into the crock pot this goes. This next recipe was supposed to be a kitchen sink recipe and I, that's what I'm doing, but I'm not following that recipe anymore. I'm going to make this more like a chicken stew because I have this half pint with a little bit of broth. So I'm going to throw that in here. And then I have some carrots that are shredded from actually two years ago in my garden. So I'm going to add some of these, not all of them, but a good amount. I also have celery from last year's garden that I'm going to add and then some onions as well. So this is kind of starting out like a chicken soup, but minus the soup part. And the recipe that I was looking at as inspiration only had like salt, pepper, thyme, and a poultry, and not poultry leaf, a uh, bay leaf. I was looking at poultry seasoning. This is some onions. I like to dice some onions and keep them in the freezer for times like this where I don't want to dice a whole onion. If I was making a large quantity, I would use canned carrots probably just to use them up to still have some. I have canned onions that I need to use up and I have canned potatoes that I need to use up, but I am not making a big recipe, so the frozen it is. I'm going to add in a potato as well. I need to get this sliced up. And I'm gonna slice it pretty tiny just because everything in there is pretty tiny and it looks like there's a spot that I need to cut out. I did wash the potato really well before cutting it. Also, these potatoes are from the store, which these are the first potatoes I've bought in years. 
probably in three years because I just have been using potatoes from the garden. But last year I didn't produce a ton. And this year I needed to buy some potatoes. So these are starting to shrivel up already and I bought them like not even, maybe a month ago. And the ones from the garden, since they're so fresh, they last, like the, they literally last the whole year until it's time to, well most of them, until it's time to harvest again if you don't eat them all first. Okay, there we go. I am a big fan of clean as you go. It makes everything so much easier. Okay, so I'm gonna put some garlic in here. Oh, it did call for that. It called for everything fresh minced garlic. I never have fresh. I just can't be bothered to do that. Okay. And then we will add the salt and the pepper and the bay leaves. And I'm going to add poultry seasoning as well, which is not something that it called for, but I feel like garlic powder, salt and pepper just isn't enough. And I'm not going to add the thyme because I have learned that anytime I add thyme to something, I really don't like it. Ooh, you know what would be good is rosemary. I'm going to do that. I'm going to put some rosemary in here. Throw a few bay leaves. These are the littlest bay leaves ever. A little bit of poultry seasoning. And let's find the rosemary. Here's the rosemary. I'm not going to put too much. I wonder, does rosemary come ground? Because I always find that these little bits and pieces just get annoying when you're trying to eat. So you don't want to eat like the rosemary pieces. I mean, you do because they're in there, but it's just, it comes too much. I'm gonna give this a little tiny bit of a mix. And then I'm just gonna watch it over the next couple of hours to see if it needs anything like liquid wise. For now though, I mean, everything's frozen. So I feel like it'll let off a good amount of liquid. So number three, whoo, that was loud. Number three is done, going in the crock pot. And here are all three of them. They are all on low. I will watch them and see if I need to increase it. But we have our chicken alfredo lasagna. We have our enchiladas and our chicken stew. These are now done. We have the alfredo lasagna, which looks fantastic. We have the enchilada bake, which also looks fantastic. And then our chicken stew, which just looks like chicken stew. <laughs> It is taste test time. I'm going to grab out three different forks. I'm not going to plate these up because I ate lunch about an hour and a half ago, so I'm really not hungry. But this is my meal prep for the week. So this is the way that I really love to meal prep and get ahead because now I don't have to cook at all throughout the week. And realistically, I didn't even do much cooking today. It kind of just did itself. You don't have to use canned meat though. You can use any kind of meat that you want. Oh, what order do I want to go in? I'm gonna go to this way because I'm most excited about this one. This is the chicken stew. I tasted a potato already to see if it was done. There's a little bit of moisture still in the bottom. So I'm gonna try something other than the potato. Maybe some shredded carrots, onion. Oh, there's a potato on it, that's fine. And some chicken, whoa. <laughs> so let's try it. It's good. It's not that exciting, it's just stew, but it tastes good. Next up, enchiladas. I'm interested to see if this is gonna be too spicy or if it ends up being okay. Let's just dig in there, grab out a little bite. It's spicy. <laughs> That's good. The tomato has a little bit of a, more of a kick than you would expect, but it was also tomatoes from the garden. So that one's good. I feel like this would be better if I had sour cream on top of it. Then it would be like, Perfect and amazing. Now this is the one I've been excited for. So let's see, hopefully the noodles are all cooked through. Kind of pushing these noodles down that are up here. It's a little soupy, but I do know anything that has noodles and a liquid, usually the noodles end up getting, like they soak up the liquid pretty quickly. Okay, here's a bite of this. Hot. That one is so good. It's very rich though. I'm almost like I could have probably put half the jar of sauce in. So here was three different crock pot meals that are not just the chicken or just the meat. Anyways, thanks so much for being here with me today. I'm going to leave some videos up over here in case you're interested in sticking around. I have some other marinated meats that I've made in the crock pots and I've actually done quick breads in the crock pots and those came out amazing. So definitely go over and check them out. If you enjoyed this video, please also give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.